Hey there, good looking. Looking for a quick ab core workout that has no planks in it? Well, you've come to the right place. This is a quick abdominal workout. No planks are required. This is perfect for beginners all the way to intermediate. And the only tool you need is a mat if you're on a hard surface. So let's get going. Hey there, I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and I help women over the age of 40 get fit and strong and I would love to keep working with you. So click that subscribe button so that we can keep training together. Now we're gonna start down onto the mat. We have six different movements to do, 60 seconds are on the clock. I'll show you how you can increase the intensity of the movement as we get going. Our first movement is a dead bug. Absolutely love this name. Let's get the arms up, legs in what we call tabletop, knees at 90, hips at 90. Now draw your belly button in towards the spine and anchor your low back. From this position, slowly extend your left leg only, heel to the ground, and bring it back. Great. Now let's do the right leg, heel only, drop it down. Great. Now, if you're able to keep your low back anchored into your mat, let's add the opposite arm as we drop this left leg down. Good. And back. Back of the neck is long. Abs are engaged. So the whole idea of this movement is we are not allowing that low back to lift. We're using your deep transverse muscle in the ab region to anchor the spine. Keep going. If you want to make this harder, extend the leg straight. Rolling onto our side when the timer goes for a side crunch. So knees are bent at 90 if you're a beginner or straighten them out if you're more of an intermediate exerciser. Once again, anchoring that low back to the ground. That's the most important part of this movement. Don't let that low back lift off. If it's lifting off, bend those knees. Roll onto your left side for me. Bottom arm extended. Here we go. Take that top leg and crunch it up rib to hip on this top side now you'll push off a little bit with this bottom arm that's cool if you want to intensify it both legs coming up now you'll roll back onto your glute a little bit as well you don't want to be right onto that left hip once again it's rib to hip other side in 30 seconds You feel that in the waist, up here, your obliques. Hope so, <laughs> I feel mine. So one knee up or both feet if you wanna intensify it. Couple more reps and we flip to the other side. One more here. All right, let's go to the other side. Again, that bottom arm, extend it, palm down, lined up with the shoulder. Knees are bent and come up. Ribbed hip on this top side, roll onto that glute a bit so you don't feel it into your hip bone. And then if you want to intensify it, add both legs up. Exhale as you lift up. And if you still feel it on that hip there on the top of your side, just roll back a bit so you're more on your glute. On our back for some modified bicycle crunches in three more reps. One more. On your back. Hands light behind the ears. Lift your right leg up and lift and twist. And then the other leg. So we're lifting up, flexing, and then twisting. This is a modified bicycle. If you're intermediate, I want you to do the full bicycle where the legs are extending out, anchoring that low back. Exhale as you lift and twist. Press that leg out, that heel's just inches off the floor if you're joining me in the intermediate. You don't want to feel this in your low back, so if you do, I want you to go back to feet on the ground, okay? Deal? Deal. Deal. 
Woo. Abs are getting toasty now. <laughs> Time. Arms in a T position, palms down, legs back and tabletop. Tabletop just means knees and hips at 90. Now let's windshield wiper the knees to one side, back to center, other side. To intensify this movement, you simply straighten the legs. So you choose what's going to work for you. You're keeping the opposite arm and shoulder on the ground as you drop your legs. Working into the obliques here, your waist muscles again. If you have the knees bent, make sure the knees are over the hips so they're not too close to your chest. Good job. We have one more exercise after this, and then you can continue on with your day, or I'm going to hook up a really cool stretch workout for you in case you're doing this time. Knees bent, open up the knees, butterfly crunch, hands light behind the ears, exhale and lift up. Yeah, I'll put a stretch video if you're watching this on YouTube. So for the last few seconds of the video, in case you are doing this ab workout after a regular workout of yours. And if you're enjoying this video, ads free on Over 50 Fitness, I want you to head over to our stretch or our yoga playlist. We have hundreds of workouts there I'd love for you to choose from. This is our last ab exercise. Try not to pause when the head's on the mat. You right away, you crunch up. Exhale as you lift. Head's resting in the hands. We're not pushing on the head though. We're just allowing that head to drop into the hands to take some of the pressure off the neck. Time, good job you. Just do a quick ab stretch, legs straight, arms overhead. Kind of like a good morning stretch. You're reaching at fingertips to toes. Ah, and then rock yourself up. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. And if you would like to enjoy this workout as well as from other eight other amazing instructors, or ads free, I should say, grab our free 14 day trial for our Over 50 Fitness app. It's links down there below in the description. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.